This is the second of the seven Sunhawk myths. After a while, Sunhawk stopped using his magic buckskin sling. It was too easy. He started hunting with his bow and arrow again. One evening, as he was flying home with squirrels that he had shot that day, he noticed an island in the lower part of the lake. When he got home, he asked his great father, What is that island in the lower part of Clear Lake? Ah, that is the Isle of Elam. You may hunt there whenever you wish, but don't touch anything that belongs to the ruler. Because when he gets angry, he, he's completely unreasonable and he's more powerful than I am. The ruler of the Isle of Elam, what is his name? His name is Chachi the Flame Man. Don't touch anything that belongs to Chachi the Flame Man. Sunhawk felt jealous of Chachi the Flame Man. He flew to the Isle of Elam the next day, but instead of hunting, he went crawling through the brush in the low places until he saw Chachi's house. And there was Chachi the Flame Man standing in his doorway, and his body was completely covered with leaping, living flames. Whoa! It scared Sunhawk. He flew back home. But he came back the second day and peeked out and watched Chachi flaming in his doorway, and the third day as well. On the fourth day, there was no Chachi flaming in his doorway. So Sunhawk knew Chachi the Flame Man was not at home, and he boldly walked up to Chachi's front door. There were two rattlesnakes there, guarding the door. Sunhawk drew out his invisible sword and slew, killed those rattlesnakes. Then he opened up Chachi's front door and saw a slide going down. I will tell you why there was a slide. Chachi the flame man did not like unwanted visitors. So he kept a slide with a dragon, Muta Taibo, at the bottom of the slide, and when an unwanted visitor would come, they'd have to slide down the slide. Muta Taibo would open up his great mouth. The unwanted visitor would slide right in and get eaten up. Now, Sunhawk didn't know this, but he didn't trust Chachi the Flame Man. So Sunhawk got a great boulder, a huge rock, rolled it down the slide. Muta Taibo the dragon heard the boulder rolling down. He thought it was an unwanted visitor and opened up his great mouth. The boulder rolled into his mouth and got stuck in Muta Taibo's throat. Muta Taibo was kicking and thrashing, trying to dislodge the boulder from his throat. He kicked and thrashed so hard that the whole earth shook. Chachi the flame man was hunting and he felt the earth tremble beneath his feet. He said, somewhere a great person is dying. But he never dreamed it was his own dragon, Muta Taibo. When Muta Taibo was dead, Sunhawk went down the slide stepped over the dead dragon's body and opened Chachi's inner door and was surprised to see that Chachi the flame man lived in a round underground cavern, a cave. He found Chachi's money bags filled with beads, the shapes of all the plants and the animals that grow on the earth, made beautiful colors from the fire. Sunhawk plucked a long golden hair from his head, and he strung all of Chachi's money beads on his hair to make himself a necklace. Then he filled the empty money bags with ashes from the fire, and then he left Chachi's house. But on the way home, he started to feel guilty so he made the money bead necklace small. And then he made it invisible. And then he decided to go hunting for squirrels so that he could say he'd been hunting squirrels all day. That night, 
while he was roasting squirrels for dinner. Coyote looked at him. Coyote knew. How many money beads do you have around your neck, Sun Hawk? But Sun Hawk just kept on roasting squirrels and pretended he didn't hear. That's the end of the second of the seven Sun Hawk myths.